work with. Okay. okay. Now, hopefully, Zimnal will be looking over my shoulder and going, nope, you're not doing it right. Nope, you're not doing it right. Or something like that. <laughs> she's going to be... Oh, that, that. <laughs> she's going to be my teacher today because we're going to be doing some... some like column angled in a column angled thing like we showed over on the landmark explorer channel for the high elf build and i'm not I'm, i refuse to say takish i refuse Druidium. all right so we're going to go and let me copy this off a of fredless set over here and we're going to put these on the ground and we're going to try to do is do a setup like she has over there with this and so bear with me a moment I'm going to copy the bottom one get it aligned alright there we go and we paste. We're going to copy the second one. Copy. Paste. I'm trying to make a Zimnal set of circles here. You like that? I'm naming them for you. Zimnal set. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to paste without air. Lost, man. Paste without air there. And we're going to go to the next one. Copy. Or better yet, it's a Zimnal Fredless set. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to paste this one. Go to the next one. Copy. Paste. Zip, keep thinking that one's not there, the floor is the same color. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so this is going by pretty quick. We're making them the a double thickness on these, and it's pretty much the idea, correct? It is. Okay. really skinny ones or not, but we shall see. <clears throat> I'm not going to worry about that, that really, really super skinny one. I don't think we're going to be messing with that one anyway, so I think this should do what we're wanting. So there we go. It's probably not the. Let me turn my 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 lights on because it is starting to get dark as normal on my show. Geo's got the good time frame. He's got that good time frame because it's always daytime on his show. All right, so hopefully everybody can see what I just did there. And we just uh, doubled up two, 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 two out of the Fredless set that's over here. Now, we need to make the circles. And do we start at the small yeah. and then go large? Tema, yes. you need the sub skinny one to do the total thickness of the round thing when you go solid. Oh, oh so we need a third set, right? Yes. Okay, so. Let's make our third set then. And we'll work off of this one here. Does anyone know if Logan's up yet? A new clue. I don't know. Because I wanted to go to my aunt to give. Well, go to the webpage. Go to the webpage and see if you can log in on the website. Well, I can't use gallery, but you guys can.
Well, if it's down, then you shouldn't be able to log in onto the website, right? Or is it just in game? It's different for everybody. Because I thought the login server was uh, cross platform uh, between website and game. Yeah, but you yeah. guys can use the gallery, which is requiring you to be logged in. I can't. It won't let me log in. Okay. So, sorry, Jim. I don't want to risk the email. All right. So now I'm going to get the top pieces. I guess I should just go ahead and finish this set over here, right? Just for the sake of having it. All right. BIA hasn't put their swap back up either yet. Angel Heart. Come back to the game yet? Yeah. Did it? Nice. Well, we we saw we went to Angel Hearts today, didn't we? We did. I swear I went over to her place today. Okay, so we got all three sets now. <clears throat> so we need to make a circle out of the big one, or do we start at the small one, or what? <laughs> You, you start with the with the third one if you want or the second which is the eight I go first eight then 12 then 16 okay. we're, we're using the opposite sizing I think uh, I think we have the even number set over here yes the yeah, one even. I have. this is correct Okay, so we'll go with this one, <clears throat> and we need these solid, correct? Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our quarter for this. You could achieve nice results with it if it's not solid, but you need solid for the lower end of the piece of the tower. Okay. It's important when it joins with the other one. I'm patching my laptop to see if it's all back and I'll get in there when I hold it. <laughs> Chicken. Yes. I don't blame her though. I wouldn't want to get locked out and not be able to come back. Oh, you having problems with Katina? We're always having problems with Katina. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. You're awesome. Point that aside. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm, I'm taking it. We select this and we stack this up, like up in the air, so we can get the circle under it. Or any... yes, we need it very large. Okay, so let me zoom back here. Let's get off to the side, I think. Let's get it up in the air big enough. I think that should be high enough. But you can stack it up the floor because you will make the sphere in the center and not in the top or okay or the low part well i'll make this and then i'll just bring it all the way down to the ground i guess how's that ah, perfect okay i'll just make a copy of what we have up here and then just multiply it and it'll speed things up a little bit so copy Right. <clears throat> 
Now, I'm assuming. Miko. In my. Okay. Let me do this right quick so I have my marker on the floor. That way I can kind of see things. That'll be the center of the. Now, I need it taller or closer to the ground. The double of this. High, right? Yes, very high because you will use like a, a big sphere to do the cut in the middle and the cut has to be in the middle. Okay. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yes, like this. All right, that good? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, keep going? And yeah, just so you know, you're only two boxes off. No, it's, it's good like 10, mate. Like How's that? You good? That high enough? Yes, yes. High enough. Okay. You're scaring me. Um, okay. No. Now, let me make sure here. We are using a even number across. Yes. So, I'm assuming that when we go into our deletion mode here, I need to go to circle, and I'm going to have to make this thing how big in comparison? Like the double and a bit more so 26 times 2 I use a 40 so it's 44 46 more or less okay so I got I got 54 right now which is two times the size of the circle that I'm using I'm using a 26 yes so 20, actually the double 52. makes it yeah, so like that Yes, now put it up. Okay, now I think I'm pretty centered there ish. Maybe one off. There we go. Okay, I'm But centered. being in the exact center here is not that important because you will be moving at one side. Okay. Now you're using a an even numbered sphere because it's an even numbered column. Can you do the same odd with odd? I'm going to assume yes. As long as you're centered on one nice, axis. As long as you're centered on one axis, you should be okay. And that way, if you offset in like left to right or back to forward or whatever, it should still come out centered. I see. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Good, okay. Because my, my base that I'm working on is odd numbered <laughs> okay now now we're at this point now what now go to the center of the cylinder up okay so we're going hello, hello. alright I am slowly but surely getting it up to the center here <laughs> uh, okay here and now you have to choose one side either right or left to do the narrow shape of the cut. Okay, now how far off do I need to offset for this? Uh, like six or seven voxels, more or less. Okay, so I'm going to go east to west. I'm going to be going apparently east. Six voxels. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Stop. Yeah. Okay. Have in mind you can have a cut, but you can do the cut going to the other side, and you have probabilities of having a better result. Okay. You can do the cut here right now. All right. So I'm gonna hit the checkbox. Hmm. Alright, 
Yeah, I can just... Okay, now, now you have to check the narrower part of the cylinder. Okay, well, my oh, circle I see jumped. It clean. I see here. the bottom is clean, but the top uh, didn't quite come out as clean. So we're going to be using the bottom section. Yes, that's why we made it in the in the center in the center. Now, what do you uh, know? Why it's it did that on the top? Uh, yes, uh, you want to be using the top. You will be using the the good part, which is the lower one. Okay. You just erase the other one, and that's okay. Okay, so we're going to delete the top piece. Yes, and it's always delete on the, the top. east side. That's weird. That seems like an a, a engine issue right there. It's always on the east side. Everybody's artifact like that from cutting and stuff on these bends is on the east. Yeah, that is definitely an I engine know issue. I it was always on the east, Crane. Yeah, you double check it and see if I'm right. That's interesting. It can be for me. Okay, so now we have this. Yep. Yeah. Um, make sure you have fly perms. I opened up the entire plane over there. Okay. Um, so, after we get this, we go ahead and make the next one? Oh, gosh. Uh, yes, you can You can do the next one. Okay. So, let's get down in here and get dirty. Actually, that's about as... Well, okay. Yeah, we'll live with that. Let's go to the this next is, one. This is the 8 or the 12. Well, that was the third set down that I have her on the center. So we go in with the big one? I mean, 8 to the quarter. So the 9. The next one, yes, because you start with 7 and. Okay. Uh, when I counted it, I said, well, there's one more than it should, but uh, it will work the oh. same. Okay. Oh. Well, we're, we're only going to be making a two stage. We're not going to make it like a three or four stage, but, you know, just to get the idea and the concept down, I think this should do it. Yes, of course. Now, let's go to this. Copy. I think I'm on grid. Am I on grid? My stuff seems to be jumping a lot. Oops. I really can't tell if I'm, I'm doing the grid thing or not here. Okay. Yes, because you have to start with the pink one, and that is correct. So. All right. So now, all right, so we've got this circle down. Let me go ahead and make that third circle. Um, just so we go ahead and have it done and ready just in case if we want to do that or not does not necessarily mean we're going to use it but eh, still not too bad of an idea always good having all the pieces around alright so we should be it if we want to do it. Zim, you see in guild chat, you can fly and build here if you want. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we've got all three pieces here, and we've got the first piece cut. Now let's go ahead and start stacking. I'm tempted just to go ahead and do both of them at the same time. <laughs> Just calls. That sounds evil. All right, so let's do this. Let's 
Let's get it kind of off way off to the side because I don't want to interfere with that one. Anyway, just do both at the same. So. Right. Let's copy that. Um, an important note here is keeping a double of each lower end piece you make because you will need that one to repaste. Okay. So it's good that I'm just making a copy of the original piece, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, we get our first little step there. Expand this out holding the F key to select the opposing side so I can move it do a control C to copy that control V to paste and start the stacking Thank you for showing us how to do this. <laughs> yeah, this is really, like really neat stuff. This will help a lot of people. I oh. hope so. Okay. Now, let me see if I can grab that centerpiece here and do my little marking on the floor. I think that kind of helps um, helps on the starting point to make sure that your stuff is aligned. That's what the the other reference. Do you remember the bat set of circles? Uh, that one had a floor reference for this, which is perfect to keep the center. Mm -hmm. All right, let's push this down to the ground. And mark it. Okay, so now this one is, let's see, 18. So we're looking at 36 for a circle. So let's go to our delete tool, reduce this down to 36. And why is it all the way up to 100? I don't know. What are you basing the size of the circle on? Double, Double whatever the pillar size is. Diameter? Yes. Okay. So now I, I have missed that part when I was in the other room with the laptop. Okay, so I'm going to hit control click so I can get in here and do this getting it lined up thing. And I'm using these arrows. To line it up with the mark that I put on the ground and see I'm kind of get, just getting it centered with that mark on the ground there so I know that I'm, I'm kind of on spec now <clears throat> this one I'm going to assume I want it to go in a different direction than what I did the first time so this one I want to go up to the center and then off six one two three four five six I don't know maybe it's just me but that looks like it might not come out clean if I do six you uh, would go one less here okay like five Okay, there's five. And we'll do the cut a bit uh, lower than that. 
Oops. Not quite as high. Uh, I should go back down. I don't know. That looks good. Ah! What the hell? Why did it jump like that? That made me mad. Yes. Why does it jump like that, though? It's I always that. Small bricks. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's annoying. I don't know if it's a bug or whatever. I but think yes, that's a bug. That's every time. Angry. And when Dr. Evil gets angry, Mr. Bigglesworth gets upset. Mm. And when Mr. Bigglesworth gets upset, people die! Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> I think Dyfed picked that one out just for me. It's awesome. Okay. You could also try uh, two or four boxels uh, bigger sphere. Two, three, four, five. Alright, there we go. We're set. And we're going to check. That looks good. That looks really clean on top and bottom. Yes. Nice. It is. Awesome. Okay. So now we work on the last one. Now, which should we use on uh, for the delete? What, what part should we delete? Either the top or the bottom on this one. Just leave the bottom? Um... In this case, I should keep the yes the the top part because it looks cleaner to me than okay. the other. Okay. Now, what I do have you... a question. Does it? Go ahead. Does it does it come out clean if you do it exact center too? It should come out like if you don't want if you don't want it looking angled like that. <clears throat> it should come out clean in that that perspective. Now, I'm, I can drop it and find out here. I mean, ugh, dang it, all the crap. Never mind. <laughs> no, I'll, now, I'll see. I'll try it myself and find out. Okay, we're going to keep the top one, per Zimnil's instructions here. What do you see? What are you looking for uh, when it comes down to what looks clean and what doesn't? Well, this look, uh, it doesn't make ripples. Okay. Because sometimes you you look at the concave uh, shape and you see like ripples, you barely about, noticeable, but they are there. You talking about this black they line here. here, where the voxel is kind of done like yeah. a protrusion? No. Hopefully. I always look the exterior one, this. Okay, I'm looking where you're at. Oh, okay. You look, it's a bit jagged in here. Uh -huh. It's barely noticeable, but this uh, is very evident when you change color textures and then stack it up to do the difference and do that uh, nice uh, border of different color. Okay. When now you I'm, do that, the jagging, it's very noticeable. I'm seeing like this ray coming from these in the interior to the exterior on the outside ring. Do you see this? Hopefully. I think that's uh, uh, that that comes from the circles that we used. Yeah, I see that. Hmm. I see it too. It's raised or cut in on one side. And Jay Hacks, yes, this is the Tema show after the the other show. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm having to double up today and tomorrow, so um, kind of doing two shows uh, to help Geo out. Um, but yeah, see, I've got this this like ray kind of coming out of this um, this circle pattern here. Hopefully, you can see it on your on my screen on the stream. Yeah, sometimes it does. Okay, that will not affect uh, the outcome, right? Nope. Okay, sweet. It's only visible in the inside of the piece. Okay. But I, I wanted, you never notice it on the side. Yeah, I wanted to clarify that um, because I'm pretty sure somebody would run into that if they looked at this broadcast and be like, "Why is it doing that?" You know. So you're the master at this. I'm not. 
<laughs> okay. Eat many of that ones. Okay, so now we're going to go to this last one, which is a 10 unit. So we're going to make a sphere that is 20. So I'm going to delete tool, go to 20, put it about where we want it, control click, and then we're going to line it up with my mark on the ground. And that way it looks good. This one needs to adjust. There we go. So now we're centered. And this time we're going to go in another direction. We're going to go in the kind of an opposite direction than before. So let's, um, hmm. We went that way. Try to do the cut a bit up, just in the middle of the cylinder, more or less. Yeah, here. Okay, so I this. think. You have always more room in voxel storms to have a good, nice clean. All right, so one, two, three. So yeah, I'm going three this time instead of uh, going out to that five because I think that would give way too much of an angle if I if I didn't. Yeah, or you can use a, a bigger sphere as well. Okay. So, okay, uh, I think that's gonna, gonna do it. Yes, yeah. you can. You can go for it. So, boom. That looks pretty darn good. Mm, nope. Nope. <laughs> see? See? No, that's why it. I got some noise. What's wrong? It's not good, Benma. Show me. It's full of ripples. Okay. Oh, I see what you're talking you, about. You should use a bigger sphere to cut. Okay, so let's go to a... Let me back out of it. Delete tool. Well, see, it looked good to me because, you know, well, it did. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to a... <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to be picky. It's just... No, I saw what awesome. you were looking at that time, though, Sam. Same here. <laughs> Okay, let's try this. We're gonna go to a twenty-six, which is yeah a lot more it's better sometimes going a bit bigger okay. here. See? And you will see the real difference when doing the bevel thing in the lower end of it. Okay, so I should be on it now. So um centered. Centered. And we're gonna drag this up to the center. Yep. And I'm going to go this away, which is north this time, three voxels. One, two, three. Check. I'm going to escape out of my tool. Yes, look? it looks better this time. It, it has this thin radius, but don't worry because it's not noticeable in, in the outside. Oh, yes, it's bad. Okay. So, um, top or bottom? I like it better, the upper one. Okay, so we're going to leave this. We're going to use the top. Yes. So we'll delete yes. the bottom. All right, so now we're to the point where we put all the pieces together. Um, you should serve them and do the bevels. Okay, so we start with the little and then go big? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, I'm, I'm gonna, we're going to cross our fingers on this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, I don't want a really big piece out of the, out of this middle one. I want a small. Just for the texture, yeah. So I'm gonna copy this. Now with this, when I go to put this on top of the the skinny one, I use the delete tool first. But you want texture them? Huh? Texture. 
bevel. She's saying it'll be easier to, to, to put the texture in of them first before you put them together. Yes. Texture and bevel goes first, and do a copy of the lower end of each piece to rebase later. So I need to paint the whole thing so a I solid? Make one marble. So I need to paint yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, well, let me back up. So, so we're going to have to paint this whole thing something. Uh, gray marble, for example, or blue marble, for example. Okay. Well, I got stuff in my already selected here, so we're going to go with that. You have to select one more down. Yes. Um, now duplicated it and paint it on gold. Ew, I see what you're doing. I know what you're doing. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But put it a bit far, uh, farther than there because you can spoil it. Okay. Now you paste it here. And I'm gonna now, make yes uh, one of these yes. gold. We still know I'm Use a Takish non ornate. I don't have to do the whole thing, do I? Just like the bottom. Something like that. Make that gold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Alright, so now we're going to go to materials, metal, gold. And paint. Alright. So now, okay. yeah. I paste again on top of this one. Wait. <laughs> ah, okay, yes, yes, paste it. <laughs> I, I just was keeping track of you uh, keeping a um, uh, back piece of the piece. Yes, now two up. Three. Three? Okay, now paste it. Okay, hold uh... on. Making sure I'm not pasting with air here. There we go. Yes. This way you have the bevel. Okay. The bevel is done like that. Okay. So now, I go and do the same thing with the other pieces, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's go to this one. Make copies of the other two pieces, your big one and your middle one over here, and stuck them by the side. Okay, I'm going to go with a different color material on this next piece. Let's go to materials, stone, marble, and I think this time I'm going to go with a gray. Yeah, let's go with gray. We're now going to copy it, paste it. Now we can select the bottom. It's person. very entertaining, consuming, but it's the results are nice. Well, I, I kind of like this. Uh, this is pretty pretty cool here. Um, just for the simple fact that. You know, it's it's going to add that little extra to the bottom base part of it. All right, so we're going to paste what we have from the clipboard. You know, you can do here a, a cool thing if you let me. All right, do I need to stop what I'm doing? He's adding. Yeah. I mean, you, you, using the bevel, you can do another bevel here and paint it with another texture in the middle. 
Okay, so uh, double paste is what I'm looking to do here, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So one, two, up, paste, one, two, up, paste, escape, escape, and now I can use my paint tool. To paint in. Actually, hold on a second. I got an idea. It's two up. One, two up. One, two up. Paste. So now I should have a double band. There it is. Yep. Uh, yes. You said that double one. Let's just uh, paste in one more extra time um, instead of just one extra. Just do that one extra paste there. I think some of my 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 light kinda died on me. So I need to check my my lights. Behind you to light it up. <laughs> have y'all, have y'all, y'all always noticed that it's always nighttime at the same time of the day. You know that's, that's it sucks. It is. Actually, Tim, I have a better idea than what you're doing right now uh, because you're painting only one voxel. So when you go further away, you won't see it so good. So if you copy the bottom part and move it up a bit, you should be able to paste that for another line. Yep. <laughs> yes, it's a double paste. Yeah, we could have could have already said in that, I guess. Oh, look at Sunday. So, let's back it up. Let's control Z. Let's see if I can go back far enough. And apparently not. You can do this in various uh, manners. One was painting, the other one is the double paste, which has been noticed to you. And the third one is using another set of handmade, um, coated with a line tool circles. Do, 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 do. Uh, you could do different angles at that point if you go yep. further up. And different mm -hmm. sizes. One, two. Yeah. So there we go. Doing the same thing. And it's solid. All right. So we got that. And, okay, why is this? Oh, that's kind of, I was wondering what the heck was going on over there. Okay, so we got the second piece done. Now we got one more piece. And then we can put all the pieces together. Right? Yep. Yep. So let's move on. I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna put the pre-paste pieces on one side because we're getting a little off center here. So let me control X. This one off to that side over there because all of our pieces we're putting together is right here on the inside. So now we need to go back to the original color I think yeah it'll look a little bit more nice all right we're gonna copy paste and 
is this one here. Select. I'm only going to select the top. Paste. Gold. Paste the new section. I think I know what I want to do with this uh, now. I'm going to... Something don't look right up here. Yeah, it's broke. You have to go one uh, less. You have to go three feet. If okay. you do two, it breaks. Well, there we go. That's uh, what was bugging me. So we, instead of two on this one, we have to go three. Gotcha. How does the other ones look, by the way? This, the thin one looks fine. It, they look good. Okay, that one. Uh, you got two little divots in the smaller one. Ah! Ah! Well, at least I got the original. We can fix it. All right. So this one looks good. And what I want to do is, for this... I'm going to grab this top piece and I'm going to paint gonna this paint with materials, metal, gold, Turkish gold ornate. I'm going to copy this, control Z back out of it. Paste, and I'm going to do this the same way as I did the other one. I'm going to paste this one in the place of that one. I want something a little bit more. One, two, three. So we got that. Let's go back to our original. This time we're going to go back to the standard gold. I think somebody painted that little one over there with something. Copy? I think send it. Control Z. And this time, lined up on it. So one, two, three. Actually, at this point, we can get this thing as close as we want after we do the initial three. So let's go down two. Now we go back to the original. Copy it as is. And make it straight. Copy. So we get just a little bit more ornate with this one, I think. Just to. Actually, we could do that. I don't see why not. It would take a little bit of playing, um, but I don't see why we couldn't. But we're going to focus Just on. Make sure you get the middle. Yeah. So well, it would mess up when, up when you end. Okay. When you end to ornate the pieces, mm -hmm. uh, make a copy of the ornate and keep them apart. You will need those to repaste after uh, constructing the the tower itself because the joints they will jack when you do that okay um so i need to copy what i have here now right yes okay just the ornate part 
So all this right here. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hold okay. On. Just making sure. Just making sure. Okay. We'll put it over here. <laughs> all right. So now uh, we're going to stack all of this on top of this big one. Just flip it upside down, do its thing. Or how are we doing this? Putting it all together. Not a specific order. Uh, what I do is picking the the tinier first. Okay. And then stack over it. So we're stacking on top of the the thin one. Hmm. Okay. So let's grab this. I'm not going to use a lot of this center one. I want something a little thin on the center. Something about like that. Maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, something like that. Yes. Okay, so now when I go to put this on that one. Haha, <laughs> correct. We Just need... in, the, in the exact center. Okay, well, I'm going to go into control mode and try it. Well, shoot. My Should we have a copy of that thin one first before he does this? Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to copy all the ornates on all of them, right? Yeah. Okay, let's copy all this. For this part, uh, the tinier one of Nate won't suffer, but the other ones, they will. Now, do you just uh, paste directly into it? Uh, or do you do a negative cut be, and then paste? No, paste directly. Okay. Have you tried it with the negative cut and then paste? Mm, yeah, I've tried. Okay. Just chicken. <laughs> chicken. Just chicken. In my opinion, doing the direct cut and then uh, repasting the ornate part gives better results. In my opinion. Okay. Well, you're, you're the master of this, so well, I don't know jack about this. Uh, not oh. a master, but I call it insisting. Okay. All right. So let's. We've got all our copies of our Who's ornate there? pieces here. Um, looks like somebody already grabbed the center one. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to this now. Yes. Now grab the whole piece. The whole. One thing you can do uh, to save a bit of marble if you don't have many is after you ended the copy pastings and everything uh it's cutting the parts that are straight non-decorated mm -hmm. and change them for a white circle and stack it okay and this way you yeah. save a lot of money I'm going to make my floor marker here because it's kind of annoying not having that marker there. <laughs> it makes it hard to get this thing lined up. Okay, let's try this again. side so why is that not centering it is not centering why is it not centering it's either that or I'm just not looking if at it you right. want the exact center you could uh, paste one of the marked ones here and have the exact center and then I thought I got just to be next there. All right, now we're gonna see how this looks here, and that does not look centered to me. I think I'm off like a lot. It's not. It's not. Hold up. 
could have swore I grabbed that direct center of this. Don't that look centered? It looks centered to me. That's what it, it's showing. Yeah. It's right on my mark here, so I'm not sure what's going on here. You could try another thing. So the top of that circle should meet up at a center point there. There you go. But my arrows are not centering. See that? Bring it up to the top of the green one. It's easier to see, don't you think? Well, yeah, but it should still have a center point there where it would meet up uh, crossways with the other ones. That's weird. weird. Tema, yes. look at this. <laughs> you just put the other circle, well, the one you used to make this cylinder, just in the bottom or in the top part, and you have the center. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm here okay well we're centered now it's all good okay boo, 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 boo. so we're gonna bring this up about a year yes a bit more like that. yeah right well I don't here I, I don't know how high it is to the ceiling of this claim so you are got a long way to go. The okay. floor is only two voxels off the bottom. Okay, so at this point, we paste without air and let it roll. Go for it. Okay. Boom. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks pretty nice. Not bad. But you have a bit. A little jagging, it's not very noticeable, but <laughs> it's there, and now it's time to repaste. Okay. So, repaste again? With repaste your with the lower piece? part. Yes, the ones you saved. Over here. Yes. Well, that one's got that little janky on it, too. See it right there? No. It has a janky? Yeah, it's got a little janky right oh. there. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, you mirror the other part of the cylinder. Let me try the exact, something. Looking for the exact box all in here. I'm going to try something. Yeah, right there. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Okay. I still have a non-colored one over here that's not painted. I'm not seeing it down here, though. I think that happened because of the two-box all bevel. It should have been mm. three as well. Okay. Well, that, that Actually, kind of explains it. I rather think it happened because of the uh, concentric circles you've used. Because that's it, it follows that pattern. So if you would have solid circles uh, and cut them, it should be cleaner. It, I think it's because of the pasting one on top of the other. Because that yeah, top one does not have it. And this bottom one, oh, excuse me, this bottom one doesn't have it and the one above it does have it. Yeah, that's the one I said needed to be fixed when you're doing the big one. Yeah, I think that is the issue. So we need to go at least three voxels difference on pretty much every one of these if we're going to do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's move on to the next one. We understand the issue there, and uh, I think we'll, we can kind of play with that after the fact. So let's go ahead and get the, the last piece on, and then we'll start playing with it. Cool? That one you should make larger. you can make it larger 
um, the green one, the last piece, uh -huh. it should be a bit uh, longer. taller. Oh, yeah, taller, longer. yes. Yeah, we can do that after longer, we get it yes. up there. As long as we can get it up there, we can play with it. Wait. Ooh. All right, so let's grab this. So control C to copy. Now let's get this last one up there. And this is this is actually looking pretty cool. Um let's see. These are nice. Here, up and down. Let's see if I can get it centered. One box all to the your right. Yes, here. And that looks good. Take them on it. Uh huh. I think that right there should get me about what I'm looking for. So right there. So now let's paste without air and see what we have. Yeah, that should do. Look at that. That looks pretty darn good. Yeah. Nice. That looks really nice. All right. So me. It looks good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> It so, looks good. And then yeah. it's clean. And then it's pretty much whatever you do on the top <laughs> from after that. Um, that is pretty wicked though. I I'm digging it. I'm digging it. This is a pretty cool process you got here. Really pretty cool process. Thank you for all your hard work figuring this out. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we can do about cleaning up that last piece, uh, which we had the little jankies in. Um, I'm gonna... Let's delete the one we have over here. Or you can control Z to delete the last part of the tower. I know. Well, no, I'm leaving that and up we there. Do it. We're, we're, we're uh -huh. playing with what we got. In, in good old Tim of fashion. As y'all know me, I'm, I'm stuck in my ways. I, okay. you know, I am stuck in my ways and I do not deny it. So let's copy this first piece. Copy. Actually, we're going to paint it gold first. Boom. Copy. Paste. Now I'm going to go to this other texture, paint, copy, paste, overlay it with the original. And we're going to go up three. So one, two, three, click. We're now going to go back to the gold, paste, copy, paste. It's not clean. So now it's one, two, three, one, two, click. Now we're going to go. Actually, I overstepped that, didn't I? Actually, you could leave that one gold. That would look kind of interesting in the middle. I want to go down a little bit there. There we go. Hey, it looks good. That's good. Okay, now back to the other. And we're going to shrink the top on this. Just a little bit. Copy. Yeah, we could possibly just leave it gold. You're right. That's not bad. Looks nice. But I, I, I'm replacing what we already currently have, so um, that probably won't be the best idea. 
There we go. That looks good. So now, so now, let's copy this and then paste this in over what we had before. Couldn't that band be new wide? At the bottom, we had to go three because it gave Jakey's on the bottom. So we had to go three um, for that thickness. That was what uh, we were just talking about. Because um, if we look under here on the second connection point, which is what we're replacing, you see this right here? That's a now, I saw the artifact, but what I'm saying is one band is three and the other one is two. Better be both of them three here. They don't have to be. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Don't matter. It's all in however you want to put it together. But we are replacing the screw it, screwed up little piece. Boom. Just like that. Look at that. Nice and clean. Voila! Yep. Magic! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> now, if we didn't want... Really nice. Yeah, if we didn't want a straight line right through here, we could, you know, take this and, um, you know, do some retexturing. Re I mean, it's all in how you want to kind of play with this. But, uh, thank you, Zemno. That's, uh, pretty cool. We got some pretty cool, um... You're very welcome. ...output on this. Thanks, Zem. That's amazing. Very welcome. Happy, happy to to be of help. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push this to YouTube. Yeah, that's great. great. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna push that I to YouTube. I think this will help a lot of people. I think that's uh, that's some pretty yeah, cool information to get out there. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I'll look at this several times. I'm sure. That I mean, this right here solves a lot of people's issues that I've seen with the little tower stuff, like this. So this actually works out really good to teach other people. So, yeah, this this is going to work out great. I think you guys will love this. So um, it'll give you a, a point to push it out to other people that are having that problem. So, like, oh, you, you you're having that problem? Oh, not a problem. You go check this out. So, pretty coolness. Now, um, I really, honestly, Katina, I wish. Oh, wait a minute. We can still do it, can't we? Do what? I want to take that little yeah, edgy that's thing. That's the original one right there. That's the original. I got something else to show you guys. And, um, Katina was, was like, like, dude, I need your help. And I'm like, okay, give me a minute. Because I was over in DCU, bro. <laughs> Get your butt back in the game. <laughs> and it took me a little it bit is. of time. <laughs> It took me a little bit of time to get back over here, but um, is this roof stuff we're gonna talk about? Something like that. Yay! Yay. But this okay. This is a little um, little design edging issue that she had, and um, I, I thought this this is actually a good point to kind of show you guys something that it, it's really simple. So, um, um, and you mentioned on Geo Stream about using the air. This is what you're yes, yes. talking about. And I'll talk about you know. You know, modifying things using air. Okay? Now, if you don't understand that, it's okay. Because you are standing, if you're in the game, you are standing in air voxels. Whether you want to admit it or not, what you're standing in is air. And everything around you is a voxel. Even though you don't see it. Okay? Now, we're going to use those to our advantage on this problem. So... If we take this and I mirror it and I want to connect these two to make this one little sharp point that kind of comes up and I can kind of modify the top how I want to right now if I do this and I paste without air there's a problem it gets all funky and it won't connect right correct okay I'm gonna show you a quick little tip that will kind of save you a little bit of issue here we're meeting up in a single voxel stretch just like this and if I come all the way down you'll see that is a single voxel stretch right there and 
now it's starting to be daylight, so it's going to inter interfere with my, my stuff here. So I need to turn off. Nope, I don't have lights on. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But if you notice this, how this, this shaping is on this side. If I come over here and I paint this a darker color, these are single voxels, and they're starting to get offset just barely. I'm going to modify the other side of that voxel to stretch in that direction as well. And we can do that using air voxels. Now if I take a standard voxel and I come off of that surface like about like that or something, as long as I'm away from it, you know, I, I want at least a one voxel gap in between the two, I'm going to paste a voxel in that location. I'm now going to take my selection tool, select that, and drag it over and down along this, this line all the way up so we don't miss anything. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. Now right now it's just like this, but I'm going to hit mirror and I'm going to drag it to the other side and placed it, uh, paste it exactly in the same location on the opposite side of it. I'm going to hit control click because I want to make sure I am pasting with air and hit check. Gorgeous. Look how clean this comes out. You're basically taking that air space that is already set in stone. Those voxels are going to stay exactly like that. And when they get paste, that paste dominance takes over and pulls whatever is existing in the world into that shape. Okay? Well, isn't that special? Yes, exactly. <laughs> now, um, we use this technique, exactly, uh, Yentlin, um, we use this technique in the Dark Elf competition to form the blades. We would take something that was really skin and you know really thin, and we um, used that air voxel to create the blades that we used over in the dark elf competition. This can be used in this fashion as well for the high elves. So that's a quick little tip. Um, definitely make use of it. I mean, if something has already got that form, you can use it to form something else and make it into a, a design work that you're looking for without having to actually put hands on a voxel that is on your workspace. Marin says, thank you, awesome. I never would have thought of this. I would have been silly and made a reactor for each voxel. <laughs> yeah, it, it can be a, a annoying, but if you have something that you've already created that is the shape that you're looking for, use it. I mean, I can, I can take something off of something else around here and use that to modify something else. And I'll, I'll give an example here. If I come over on right here on this curve, and I come off a, a little space, let's come off of one box over there. And there's one. Let's do something about like that. And hit check. I'm now going to use my selection tool. Something about like e something about like that, I think. Let me see which one is this. That's that one. Actually, let's go upwards. There we go. Let's do that. If I copy this selection, I can use this air um, shaping to modify something else that's somewhere else. So if I do a control C, I'm gonna paste it up here. That's one. Something about like that. And see what kind of shape I get out of this. You see how it modified that shape there? Now if I mirror and drag this over to the opposing side and hit check. I can come up with some interesting little shaping. Um, um, so the more you play with it, the more it'll make make sense. 
Brian Locke, Tinma, could you also use the fill tool in the add options to fill air voxels on the distorted side of the arc? You could, yes. And I've given an example here. Um, I'm trying to remember it, if I get this right at least. Hold on. Hopefully I'll get this kind of set in stone here. If I have something like this and I hit, I think it's delete tool, right? Maybe not. Yeah, it is the delete tool. I've just deleted that. Now, as I said before, those have now been turned to air voxels. But remember, everything in the world is made out of air voxels. Everything around you. Whether you visually see it or not, it is there. Okay? Now, you can take your add tool, go to fill, and turn it on. And look at this. I can bring it back. And that's by using the fill tool option. And that's what uh, our viewer um, just was talking about. So we can actually recreate all that kind of stuff just by if we delete it. Now, if we come over here, if we come over here and fill all this in on this side, I can select this, copy it, and paste it. And you can see I've now created those uh, voxels in this location so now if I take my fill tool option and I come over here and I go something along the lines of this and I change the color you can see I now have that shape I can now take the original piece I have put it over top hit F and hit delete that also works you can also this back up Let's get back to where we were before. If we did this and actually went in and took something like another way to do this, let's back it up even more. Hold on. We're going to get to this point. And let's go ahead and delete all this other poopy stuff I got around here. If I want this shaping here, I can also use the add tool to do that same exact thing as I did before like that I can select it copy it control Z back out of it bring it down as such I can mirror it put it on the other side like this go into deletion mode and paste and it works the same exact way as the air tool Everybody understand that in the yeah. channel? Yep. Okay, so various different things you can do, and it all works in the same exact way. It all depends on how you approach it and how you work with it. If you're using nothing but the air tool or the air voxels, you will want a base or, or a handle to work with it. In other words, like this, pull it off the side. That way you have something visual that you can see because if you select nothing but air, when you copy it, you know, it, it's not there. You won't be able to see it and you won't be able to actually adjust it to where you need it. So definitely put a handle or a voxel out there. So when you copy that space, you have something visual to be able to place it where you need it. Okay. So with that, guys, I think that is how close am I?